ASTOPC1 is a cell-based therapy still under development, and the company is in the early stages of testing the therapy in a Phase 1-2A clinical research study. Please read the following information carefully and enjoy the video. It is very, very exciting. Um, I personally have been involved in spinal cord injury research, uh, transplantation for 20 years. For the first time ever, we are seeing real positive results. We have demonstrated safety before in our studies, but no significant improvement. We are seeing, we believe, significant improvement. When a person has a blunt spinal cord injury, the general wisdom as to the science or the biology behind it is that there are some nerves that are lost for good, so they're severed. There's a number of nerves, however, that are not lost, they're not beyond repair, but they're stunned. And therefore, they lose their efficiency at being able to conduct impulses in a functionally relevant manner to make muscles move, which is what makes hands move or legs move, or to sense certain parts of the body, etc. So what the ASTOPC1 does is re-insulate the nerves that have lost insulation in a functionally relevant manner. What we're seeing now in the early results in this study is that maybe we can do something about it. Maybe we can return enough function to give them a much better quality of life. So it's exciting. It has given us hope. Who knows what we'll be able to do in the next steps. I would like to think that we're at a point in our development where we are going to see major and rapid changes in the use of stem cells and their ability to treat a variety of human diseases. But I hate to get ahead of myself and say things that may not come true. These doors open slowly. I'm hopeful that this is our first major breakthrough and that things will advance more rapidly. He wasn't able to breathe on his own because the spinal cord and the lower brainstem through the spinal cord controls our breathing through our diaphragm and when that's disrupted, patients aren't able to breathe very well. He couldn't move his arms and legs. He had no sensation in his arms and legs. He was basically um, paralyzed uh, from the neck down. I couldn't drink, I couldn't feed myself, I couldn't text or pretty much do anything. I was basically just existing. I wasn't really living my life. I feel a lot better since my accident. I would definitely say a lot better because now I have grip strength and I can do stuff such as open a bottle of soda, feed myself, as opposed to before I was relying all on my parents. So I feel more independent now. When I first heard that Chris was using his hands and doing more than he was able to do, the uh, first uh, emotion was delight and happiness for Chris and his family. This type of encouraging experience with Chris and the result that we've gotten with him should motivate us to look harder, think about higher doses, to expand the pool of patients that can be enrolled in these studies. Before the injection, Lucas could shrug his shoulders um, and uh, barely move his arms. 
but not much more than that. I remember watching that lady do the, the pin test and ask where he could feel stuff. And he never felt it. She would go, you know, all over trying to get him to to say that he could feel right. something. And and that was one of the hardest things for me to watch. Right. Keep hoping that the next one you'll feel and you didn't. I didn't know what to expect, but I cannot tell you how encouraged I am based on what I've been hearing and seeing, uh, not only with Lucas, but others like him who've gone through uh, ASTOPC ASD one's trial. And after we got the, the um, surgery for the ASTOPC one that's when we got encouragement. And we're seeing it. We're seeing the signs. We're seeing Luke heal. It, it's been great. There's no reason to not look forward in the same way now that I had before all of this happened. And that's that's today. I mean, I'm looking forward to, to driving again. Be able to do that, no problem. You know, it's, it's a bright future. And I can see him getting off on his own and living by himself and taking care of himself. Before the surgery, I don't think that could have possibly have happened. I think he would have been dependent on somebody forever. And he's gonna have his independence. I wanna thank you for this opportunity to participate. In, in such groundbreaking new new discoveries. It really is a new day. And I thank all of you for bringing this day to the world. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, everybody. It was it's just amazing what you've done for our family. Amen. Thanks for, I know it's been a long haul. It isn't like you guys just jumped in here a year ago or anything like that. You should be pretty happy with the results because it's made a difference in our life. If I was there and if I was able to thank them, I would just tell them, thank you for giving my life back. Thank you for allowing me to live my life again.